Hey guys, welcome to Workflow My Workload. I'm your guide, Justin Arazio, and today we're gonna look at how you can view your sheet in four different views from the same sheet. We're gonna look at the grid view, the calendar view, the Gantt view, and the card view. Let's take a look. All right, so here we have a sheet, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with a Gantt chart. And we've gone over Gantt charts before, and if you're not familiar with a Gantt chart, or you are, you're just not sure how to create one, go ahead and view my other YouTube videos, and I explain step-by-step -step how to create a Gantt chart and all the different things you can do with it. And But today, we're gonna to look at the four different views you can do within a sheet. And um, above all else, guys, I wanna throw this out there once again. I made a free, complete course, absolutely free for you guys to check out. Please click on the link below. And uh, I made a 45 minute f lesson that covers multiple things within Smartsheet. And it kind of gives you a taste of a, a future course that's coming up. But this course I made absolutely free. So don't forget to sign up for that. And seats are filling up. All right, so the four different views within a sheet. Now, maybe you've noticed this area right here and you weren't sure what to do with it or what it can do. Or maybe you've clicked on it a few times. You're like, eh, I don't want to mess up what I'm working on. I'm going to stay out of it. Well, today I'm going to show you exactly what you can do with this. And this will be your best friend, especially when you're working with multiple teams in multiple departments. All right. So we're already in the Gantt view, which is this view right here for the Gantt chart. And it's going to split up where you have the, the Gantt chart here and your list here. And so pretty self-explanatory. And obviously you can't have a Gantt view unless you have a start, a finish date, predecessor, and a baseline. And that's how you create a, a Gantt chart. And a lot of times um, when someone wants to create a Gantt chart, the easiest place to do that is instead of creating it from scratch, you're actually gonna start it here. Now you can do it from scratch, but I highly recommend when you create a Gantt chart, do it from this guy right here. All right. Enough of the Gantt chart, let's look at the other views. So the next view is the grid view, which we're all familiar with. This is the default that a sheet opens up with is the grid view. And I'm not gonna go into too much detail with this. Now the other two, maybe you, again, you've played around with these, but you're not sure what they do. Let's look at the card view. It's like, whoa, holy smokes, what is this? Well, if you notice right away, it categorizes it differently. As you see here, it's categorized by who the projects are assigned to. We got four different people, Justin, Billy Bob Mason, Bob, and Susan. And if you go back to the Gantt chart, that's what these guys are right here. And what it does is it, took all, it takes all this clutter like, oh, I got Billy Bob assigned to this project, and. And then I got them, you know, assigned down here to this project. I got Susan here in concrete polishing. And then I got Susan again in interior paint. I got Bob in drywall. I got Bob in plumbing. I got Bob in electrical. But they're all scattered, right? And you're like, man, I wish there was a cleaner way I could view this. Well, that's how you go to the car view. Now, I did not build this out. Smartsheet automatically does this for you. And it does it based on who it's assigned to. And if you notice, it kept the colors, right? So all the orange is concrete cast in place. Purple is framing, brown is walls, blue is plumbing, so on and so forth. And it keeps it right there for us. It even gives you the header right here at the top of each one. So it reminds you what that color represents. So it's very, very easy to do. But what's really cool about this is on the fly, you can drag and drop. Look at this badness. Pretty cool stuff. You can add a lane. Say you want to add a, another person. Um, you can also add them right here. And this is really, really good. We're looking at an overall view of a project and you want to move stuff around quick on the fly. And if you want to dive deeper, you want to drill down into some of the stuff, you can edit it specifically. In this view as well, you can add attachments, you can create proofs, so on and so forth. Really cool stuff. So some people may not utilize card view. That's perfectly fine. Other people, card view will be your best friend when you're looking at the overview of a project success. All right. 
And the last view is the calendar view. And it kind of gives you a rough estimate. It's like, you know, a nice calendar and it looks kind of ugly. Maybe I don't want to use it, but don't stop just yet. A really cool feature that Smartsheet now has is you can actually take your sheet in the calendar view and upload it automatically to your Outlook and Google Calendar. Pretty cool stuff. I'll show you what it looks like. So I've opened up my current Google Calendar. It just has my personal stuff in here. And this is it. Now let's go ahead and upload this calendar, this sheet to my Google Calendar. We're gonna to go to this button right here, publish to Google Calendar. Now this other guy here, this is where you would do it for your Outlook and other calendars. And then here you have Google. And then here you can overlay a Google Calendar onto this. It goes both ways, pretty cool stuff. But today I'm just gonna show you how to upload it on your Google Calendar. So remember, my Google Calendar looks like this, kind of blank. I'm gonna go here. I'm just gonna turn it on. It's gonna ask me to sign on the, the initial time, which I've already done. Click OK. Close. Go back to your Google Calendar. If you don't see it right away, just refresh the sheet. And boom, look at that, there it is. And if you wanna change the colors, obviously you can do that within your Google Calendar but I'm not gonna get into that because we're looking at Smartsheet today. But again, you can overlay this with your Outlook, with your Google Calendar, really, really cool stuff. And I haven't changed or added anything. It automatically does this for you when you build out your Gantt chart or your grid view. Really cool stuff. And I'd love to have you guys comment below on maybe some more features that you can do with the calendars or even with the card views that maybe is useful to you guys. Or maybe some more stuff you'd like to see about that. Um, and again, please subscribe. And most importantly, sign up for that free course. Again, the seats are signing up fast. Sign up for that free course I've made for you guys, absolutely free. All right, you guys, take care. God bless.